Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I usually, you know, I pick up the camera when we're home doing nothing. So today we're gonna do something a little different. So I figured I would take you guys with us. The kids from co-op, we're trying to do like, you guys know that we do co-op once a week with the kids, but we're trying to do like a spin-off of co-op where maybe like a couple times a week we go outside and like we do something nature related with the kids. Like we take them to a trail or we take them to a park or we take them somewhere like outdoorsy. So that is the plan for today. We're gonna go to a park. I've never been there before. Maybe hit up like a nature trail. No, we can't bring your bike. <laughs> Riley's all ready. She said she's bringing her camera and her binoculars. So I can, so maybe we could find some birds. I can take a picture of them or see well, them closer. That's a great idea. I'm really just doing like all the packing. Like I took a bunch of snacks in here. Riley, did you put this in here? Your lip gloss, your chapstick. <laughs> So she's apparently taking her chapstick, taking my water, taking all of the things. I put already some of the stuff in the car, but I need the kids to maybe eat some breakfast. Taking like a blanket, my backpack, and then Jackson's all dressed. Jackson, you ready to go to the park? Uh, yeah. Yeah? What are we gonna do there? Um, we will do a nature hunt for park. And then Sean is losing his mind because I put him down here so we could get ready and he is over it. So I've gotten to the point where I can get the kids out of the house and like I can try to remember all of the 500,000 things. You're gonna have a muffin for breakfast? Yeah. Go eat your muffin. What's hard is that like there's moments like this, I'm trying to do all the things, get everybody dressed, and then he's screaming because he doesn't want me to put him down or he wants something and that kind of makes it difficult to get out of the house, Gordo. Okay, I'm gonna put him here on the counter, see if we can get some breakfast. If I was just going by myself, there wouldn't be such a rush, but since I'm meeting up with other people, I don't wanna make them late. So we're gonna get ready, then head to the park, and if there's anything interesting there, I will show you, take you guys along, show you what it's like to just spend a little morning outside of the house and in the nature, and hopefully it's a good time. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah, okay, Let's go. Wait. What did you see, Ripey? So beautiful. Hi. Look how cute. Little free library. There's all these books that you can grab. It says take a book, share a book. Look at that, Riley. Look. There's all these little books that you can grab. I'll get some. Have you seen my duckling? If you find one that you'd like. You can get it, and then we can share it. Cool. What do you think, Jackson? Cool. Which way is the wind blowing? That way? We're gonna go have a snack now. So yeah, we finished our nature hike. I don't know if you guys can hear because it's kind of windy, but we finished our nature hike. We did a bunch of stuff, and now we brought snacks for the kids. So we are going to just like picnic and have some snacks, and then we will go home. Yeah, you can have that. There's, there's, there's one of the protein ones for you, Dark. No, 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 no. Sandwich, but there's some fruit things. You have those muffins, crackers. No, of course you can do here. Hello, sir. <laughs> all right, guys. So we are all done. Um, we're gonna be heading home now. I just got the kids back in the car, and are you okay? I just nursed him so that he has some milk in his system before we head home. Are you okay? Look, his eyebrows are all red, so I'm anticipating that he'll probably fall asleep in the car and take a little nap on the way home. Some of the moms stayed a little longer to take their kids to the PARK, but I told the kids that we had to go home because Sean's been out for a bit and needs to nap. We had the best time. Um, it was just so good for all of us. It was super good for the moms. It was good for the kids. The kids got to explore, and they had a really cute little nature hike. And we stopped. We had the picnic. And then for us moms, like it gets us out of the house. The weather was beautiful today. So it was like the perfect day to be outside. Gets us just more comfortable like doing things and like 
it's just been so great like it has been such an answered prayer to have like other moms and to form community like that's what i've been praying for all this time so it was nice to see some of those girlfriends from co-op and then hopefully this will be a more regular thing that we can do and maybe again like i had said earlier like maybe once a week maybe a couple times a month we go somewhere we go to a park we go explore obviously these moms are a little more outdoorsy than i am because the only place that i know to go to like outside is like the zoo so they're gonna find some cool places for us to hang out this little guy behaved super good though he was in his stroller a little bit more Gordo, you went on your first nature hike. I think he liked it. I think he liked to see all the trees. And it's just so funny because then at one point, like one of the moms was freaking out because like there were signs about like poison ivy. And then like obviously you don't want your kid to be stepping in poison ivy. But like, you know, when you're out in nature, like I saw a spider, I was terrified. Um, there were spiders all over the place, but it's super cool. And then the mom that like kind of spearheaded it, she had done research like on the different kinds of trees and was teaching the kids, you know, all about the trees. And then she was also like, they learned about their five senses so we were teaching them like how they could feel stuff with their hands and then they could you know close their eyes and listen and what do you hear in nature and then tying it into like how God made all the nature and then how you know sometimes God is kind of like the wind how you can't see God but you can feel God and you feel God in your heart like it was just the cutest thing ever so I'm a happy camper so let's go home and then we still have to do some lessons maybe we'll read a little bit and then see what else we do today all right we made it home i just finished putting sean down for a nap he unfortunately cried most of the way coming home on the way there he did really well and he didn't cry but on the way home he was crying and it took forever to get home because on the way there i was very proud of myself we took the highways that was the first time i believe that i've taken like all three of them in the car by myself on the highway i believe if not one of like the very only times that i've done that and you guys know with me and driving like the highways make me nervous but i did it so big win in that like big win this was the first time that i've taken all three of the kids somewhere that wasn't co-op or the doctor last week i actually took all three of them to the doctor's office which was a big thing too so little by little i feel like i'm just getting more comfortable leaving the house getting more comfortable doing things with them and that's what i want because i definitely don't want to just feel like i'm always stuck in my house especially now these days that the weather has been so nice like we need to get out we need to do stuff so i was very happy with our outing but put sean down for his nap i don't think i've mentioned to you guys that um one of the things that i we did in the house to like just help with that transition of like whenever i have to push on down for his nap i have to go upstairs to put him down for his nap a lot of times the kids are still down here and they're playing and stuff so one of the things that we did is we got a little camera can you guys see it there in the corner so that camera hooks up to my phone and then I'm able to see the kids from my phone like when I'm upstairs. So that's been really handy because that has been like in the past like one of the questions that I get like how are you able to put Sean down for a nap if you've got to be watching the other kids and now they're at an age where they can play. I just have to like remind them you know there's two rules you can't go outside you can't open any doors like god forbid there's somebody like knocking on the door when I'm upstairs like they know they cannot open the doors and they're not supposed to fight which sometimes they listen sometimes you don't but it's nice because i can be there like rocking sean or feeding him like today i was feeding him up there and then at the same time i just like pull up um like the app and then i see my house i can watch them i can see what they're doing it even lets me like um talk over the like over my phone like i can say something to them if i needed like to get their attention so that's been working well so riley's been down here drawing what are you drawing i'm drawing a picture of the snow of the snow this is a snowman that's a really good snowman did you look at a picture or you just drew that from your memory? I just memory? drew that from my memory. Oh, very good. She's been loving her little Yodo player, but where are the cards? The card? No, it's not. It's Yodo Daily. I'm going to see what Yodo Daily there is today. Oh, so there's like something that you can listen to that you don't need a card? Yeah. Okay. It's already on it. Okay. I think it's something called Yodo Daily, but she's been loving that. She goes to sleep literally listening to that, so that's been good. Okay, can I pick up this blanket from the floor? I don't know why she put this blanket here. We're gonna do some school. I've been trying to work with Jackson. Here he comes. Um, I've been trying to work with Jackson on these little activities. These come from the Good and the Beautiful, the preschool curriculum, which I'm not doing the full curriculum with him just yet, but when you buy the curriculum, there's like all these little activities that you can do, which are really cute. So this one is called like Mouse House, and you have all these little houses. 
and then I have to hide. Where's the mouse? Can we find it? Where's the mouse? Oh, there. Oh, he was still in the folder? Yeah, so you take like the mouse, you hide it underneath a letter, and then like the whole point is that they're learning their letters in like a fun Hi. way. Yes. Yeah, just like that. So that's what we're gonna practice really quick with Jackson, and then I'm gonna do some lessons with Riley. We're gonna eat, maybe clean up a little bit. No train track. Oh, you wanna play with your train tracks? So we'll see. But let's try to do Mouse House really fast. Uh, but my... And then we're gonna do the treat party. So close your eyes, Jackson, so I can hide the mouse underneath a letter, okay? Okay. So let's see if we can find the mouse. O open your eyes. Why don't we check underneath little A for the mouse? Where's little A? Good, that's little A. Is he under there? Mm -mm, not under there. How about we check under little C? Can we find little C somewhere? Hmm. Oh, that's little C, and he's not there. What about big A? No! He's not under there. Is there another big A somewhere? Yeah. Yeah? What? Hmm. No. How about under D? Big D. Big D. That's big D. Is he under there, you think? He's not under there. What about little D? Can you find little D? That's little D. Good job. And under yeah. there? Not under there. But under big B. Is he under big B? No! Where is this mouse? What about little B? Where's little B? No! No? So where could he be? Yeah. Under what letter? Let's, which one haven't we tried? Good job. Finish your painting? Yeah, look. Let me see. Wow. What is it a picture of? Tell me. It's a picture of me building a snowman. I love it. A scarf and then the snowman has a scarf. I really love it. So yeah, with Jackson, like this is how I have to go teaching him. Like with these interactive like games and stuff. But it's been good because he's... He's getting there, like he's starting to show more interest in his letters. So just really quick, tell me what letter this is. A. What about this one? No. A. Little A? What about this one? C. Which one? A, B, C, D, D. It's D, yeah, D. What about this one? C. And this one? Little, little C. Little C? And this one? Little B. Little B. And this one? Little C. Little. Uh, little D. Little D. And this one is? Big A. And this one is? Big D. Very good. Can you put the big letters with the little letters that matches to them? Good. That's D. B. A. Good. And what's left? Good job, Jackson. Proud of you. Yeah. And so for Jackson, you guys, literally that, that's the extent of his schoolwork for today. Because all I want is a little bit of practice with his letters. He's got plenty of time outside playing with like the nature hike. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and he can watch TV, he can play. He's gonna play with his train tracks probably or his toys. So that's as fast as homeschool is with Jackson at this point. All right, Mama, we're gonna read one of these books. Do you wanna pick which one? Yeah. You wanna pick it or I pick it? Whatever one. Which one do you want? Have I shown you guys these? These are like these little My First Reader books. They're Berenstain Bears. And I had bought them for her like a million years ago. And then finally now she can read them. At first they were like kind of hard for her, but now she can read them. So we try to read at least one of these a day, but I'm trying to let her pick which one she wants to read. Here, you've never read that one. It's about a puppy. Yeah? I'm picking the sleepover one again. I don't know why I like that one. You like that one? Okay, so let's try to read it real fast. I can read The Bursting Bears, The Sleepover. That goes not well. Of course it does. Sister and brother are having a sleepover at the tree house. Will they get much sleep? I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. They eat dinner. 
Lizzy beats them at a game. They watch a movie. Are they ready to sleep? No. They leap, they tickle feet, they play in a heap. Are they ready to sleep? Are they? No. <laughs> no. no. They brush teeth, Mama and Papa read sweet dreams, the cups go to sleep, but not really. Booster stories make the girls shriek. They pretend to sleep. Then Mama and Papa peek in. When Mama when. and Papa peek in. Yeah. Now the cows eat treat. Will they ever go to sleep? So what happened? They were supposed to be sleeping in the sleepover? Yes, they were. And? They did not. They did not. The cubs go with Mama to get eggs at the farm. The cubs see a sign. Pups for sale, but Mama wants eggs, not pups. One funny pup real roll Real rolls rolls over sister. I found one. One funny pup rolls over sister. Sister wants to rub the pup's tummy. The cubs want a the funny pup, but Mama wants eggs. Why does she want eggs more than a pet? Um, maybe because you can eat eggs and she's hungry. <laughs> Mama holds the pup. Mama hugs the pup. Oh dear. They go home with eggs and the funny pup. So what happened? They got both instead. <laughs> Was that a good book? Yeah. Very nice. All right, well, Riley is working on some math. We did reading, but now she can do like some math equations and stuff on her own. So like while she writes the answers i can make myself some lunch because i'm starving i took snacks for the kids but like they weren't terribly hungry and i actually ended up being kind of hungry so i'll give the kids something now when they ask but i am hungry so i'm gonna eat some turkey sandwiches nothing super fancy this year one of the things that i really want to do is focus on eating better foods if you've been here with me very like a long time you know like i don't eat the best i eat a lot of sugar i eat a lot of sweets I definitely treat myself, I treat my kids. Like the kids have never had the best balance because I think like they've just always been so picky that I was just happy when they started eating anything. Um, so my kids live off of peanut butter sandwiches and chicken nuggets, but even myself, like I don't eat super clean. I don't eat just very healthy and I snack a lot and I eat a lot of sugar, a lot of candy and i'm trying to be better about it like i'm not gonna ever tell you like oh i'm gonna stop eating that entirely but trying to not like go to it for comfort if that makes sense like i go to food for comfort i think and i mean it does definitely make me feel better but i want to like get away from that so finding ways to like in moderation allow myself to have those treats but for the most part have it be more like eating just like real food not so much processed food i do feel like i've made some progress in the kitchen in the sense that i'm cooking more i'm trying new recipes that was something that i think like if i reflect on 2023 i did better like just trying new things in the kitchen which i'm very happy about but i want to continue that this year and i want to continue like being more organized in the kitchen but really just trying to maybe make some more food from scratch and have just like healthier meals i don't know like health is on my mind this year and i know that that's typical like at the start of a new year but now that sean is a little bit older i feel like it's more attainable it's more manageable like when i first had him obviously it's just like total survival mode i think we're finally getting past you know total just survival mode and it's a little bit more like okay like what what can we do here to like improve our life how can we make things better like that's kind of like the headspace that i am in 
and I just want to eat better food. Like, I do think that food can be tasty. Okay, I'm going to go check in now. You know, I do think that food can still be tasty and enjoyable, but just a little bit less processed, a little bit less just like junk. Like, even though this is not the best, this is literally honey ham from Walmart and just like, you know, the Hawaiian rolls. So this isn't like the best thing, but not terrible either i guess so you see this is how we do homeschool like i i will like make myself some lunch and then i'll come back here i'll check her work circle is smaller number very good and then your addition problems so she's at the point where she can kind of do it now and then i go and i check it very good I'm trying to make sure that i don't get it wrong good job mama that was really good what's going on this People are in a big traffic jam right now. They're in a big traffic jam? Oh my goodness. And the, wow. the police are trying to get to there. Fire trucks are getting right there. And the ambulance is trying to get there. But they can't because they're in a huge traffic jam. Yeah. Well, who's going to move? Is anybody going to move? How do you solve this problem? Um, There's a red light. There's a red light? Yeah. Well, is it's it... For Three days. For three days, a red light? Yeah. That is the worst traffic I've ever seen in my whole life. One day after. It's one day after. Oh my goodness, we still have two more days? Two days after. Three days after. Red light. The <laughs> green light It's pretty much Miami traffic right there for you. All right, now they're gonna start moving. I'm gonna tell her how to get there. Oh, I'm Alright, well tell them to figure it out, okay? Because they can't be in traffic. Like, what if they need to use the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Uh, they can handle it. They're not gonna be able to handle it. They're gonna do pee pee in their pants. <laughs> They'll <laughs> pee in their car. Maybe, yeah, that's not good. Maybe if they have a, 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 a bottle, they can pee in the water. Right? You can go back into your school work. Who taught you that? All right, Sean is still sleeping. He's been sleeping for like 48 minutes. So we're gonna do some more stuff in the kitchen. I think in the last vlog, I told you guys that I was trying to revive my sourdough starter. It has not, it's not been working. Um, I feel like maybe it's a few days away because look, now it's starting. It's actually starting to get a little bit of bubbles. You see, like when it starts to form bubbles like that, soon it may be active. So I may feed it today and kind of see what happens. But then I was at my mom's house this past weekend and she also gave me some of her sourdough starter like this is pretty like recent like i think it came out of her fridge but she's baked with it like recently so i'm gonna try to do like two starters try to continue feeding that one start this one see which one i can get active first because i really want to try to bake a loaf of bread this week and i need some like active sourdough starter to do that yeah i was looking for my other weck jar i love these jars i just think that they're so pretty sorry that this lighting is so bad right this second i should turn on some lights but these weck jars are like my favorite and i think i ordered them from amazon if you're looking for like some little sourdough starter jars or whatever they each come with a lid and i think mine was like in a pack of two and they're just like nice quality and i feel like they're like a good size so let's do that i'm not going to go through the process because i showed you the other day it's literally like adding some flour and some water using my scale but let's try to take care of that This little chunky dude just woke up from his nap. Are you happy? Are you happy, good dude? He slept for an hour and a half, so that was a very good nap for him. So he woke up happy when I went to go get him. See, if I could get just like one nap like that in a day, it would be great. Like an hour and a half, gives me time to do a couple things. I can do swirl with the kids. And then you feel rested, good Don't You feel rested. Hi. 
the kids are over here watching a movie now. They're watching Boss Baby. That's like the newest <laughs> movie that they've been wanting to watch. So they're in the background watching that. I wanted to tell you that um, I think in the last vlog is when I was trying on the dresses for my cousin's wedding. We went to the wedding. We had the best time. Like it was honestly so much fun. Um, we were there until 11 with all of the kids and they all behaved super well sean like i brought my baby carrier you guys we brought the stroller i thought for sure at some point i was gonna be able to put him in the baby carrier and he would like fall asleep pass out maybe i'd put him in the stroller he'd pass out in the stroller he was up like the entire time partying with us i think he slept for maybe half an hour like joe was holding him for a bit and he fell asleep like on his shoulder for like half an hour and that was it and then he was just partying with everybody at one point i just put him in the carrier and we were dancing so he went to his first wedding and he was the life of the party the kids were the life of the party jackson was up jackson partied harder than riley jackson was there with like they had like the little glow up you know sticks like the ora loca sticks like the light up and glow he was literally partying so hard um riley at one point just like passed out on a couch and she was like just very tired but she was still trying to like fist pump to the music and she was still trying to like dance yeah that was riley um but yeah we had a great time it, it just felt really nice to like get dressed up and my dress ended up working super well i loved it i loved my dress and then it was cold it was like in the 50s at night so i ended up having to buy like this like fur like kind of like shawl thing to put over it so that I wouldn't be cold and I'm glad I did because then at night you were very cold. So the whole look ended up, I thought, looking really nice. Um, it was like very mob wife like vibes. It was just very fun to wear. So it was nice because it was just a nice reminder that Joe and I, like we can still go out and have fun, have a good time even with three tiny humans and that is exactly what we did it was nice obviously to see family and you know to hang out with everybody and we hung out with my brother and my parents and all my aunts and uncles it had been a long time since we do that so again those are the moments that we were looking forward to experiencing like moving back to miami like that's what we moved back to miami for so that when those events happen and people get together and like those opportunities are there that we can participate and we don't have to be like sorry we can't make it we're not gonna drive down 14 hours <laughs> to make it to your wedding so that was a good time and i think this guy had fun right are you having fun <laughs> look at him what is that little face what's that little face sean michael he's what he's hungry or having fun he's having fun yeah little man i don't know if he's hungry maybe i have to feed him i'm still trying to feed him like every three or four hours like i don't go more than four hours without feeding this little dude and i actually need to feed you some um purees i actually have to feed him like some solids in a little bit are you looking at your sister riley grace what are you doing let me see your feet i have Let's... shoes on why <laughs> i can't even see them move back that way why are you wearing my heels because I like you. Uh, yes, but those are mamas. You're going to fall on your butt. I don't think I've shown you guys the latest book that I am reading. I don't know if you guys have seen this on Instagram or not, but it's called M is for Mama. I'll link it for you guys because I think that if you are a mother and you are a Christian, you should read it. It's just really, really good. It talks a lot about biblical motherhood and kind of how like... I don't know, it's almost like funny to just be like a mediocre mother and like how being mediocre and like being super relatable is not biblical. Like, you know, we should always be striving to do like better and stuff. I'm definitely butchering that whole explanation, um, but it's really good. The paragraphs are short, but it incorporates like scripture. It's been hitting home like a lot for me. And then at the end, what I like is at the end of every paragraph, there's like a mediocre motherhood says all these things. And then christ-like motherhood says all these things and so just like the contrast of those two columns has been really helpful and then there's like action steps some reflection questions and a prayer but it's been really good i've had it here like on the couch that every chance that i get i read like a chapter um this section here hit really close to home for me because it was about 
how just like our profession as moms, like that's a real job. And basically like how our profession, it, it does start at home and whatever. I just bookmarked that part because I thought it was really good. Well, that's to say, if you're looking for a new book, that was the worst book review of my entire life, but just get it. It's a quick read um, and I feel like it's been really helpful for me to reflect on. It's not like a devotional. It's not like all the other books that I read that are just devotionals, just reading out of the Bible, which is obviously still very good to do. But this one is talking specifically about mother and some of the challenges that we face and how we can approach it from a biblical lens and just be I guess the best moms that we can be in like living in like biblical truth I suppose you could say look at this little guy's rolls <laughs> can you guys see how delicious he is he is so yummy right now like absolutely delicious his little baby rolls are just like getting to me <laughs> like they are so so delicious I want to squeeze you can I squeeze you can I squeeze you, little dude? People? People? Painting? Paintings? What are you reading, Jackson? Do you know what this is? It's called an encyclopedia. Yeah. Can you? How do you say it? Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Very good. It has like facts about all the things. What do you see? Airplane. Airplane. Peaceman. Mm-hmm. Farmer. Meanwhile, this child is literally on top of her brother. Can we give him a little bit of space? Then give me a snack. What? <laughs> Can you just give him a little bit of space? Then give me a snack. What snack do you want? I just gave you a snack. I gave you grapes and goldfish. Little man, look, he discovered his feet. I'm sure I've told you guys that already. But now all he wants to do is like hold on to his feet and it's the cutest thing. Fireman? Cookman? It's a chef. A chef? Wait, now I'm done. I wrote Garo. What do you, what does a chef do? He makes things. He makes things? Yep. What kinds of things? A chef, what does a chef make? Food. Food. What's your favorite food? Fries. What? Fries. French fries? That's your favorite food in the whole world. That's a sales attendant. Oh, what is this girl? Doctor. A doctor? This is literally how my children... A vet? a vet? How my children learn. I leave out a bunch of books. I think it's so helpful for them to have like books that they can flip through like these that are just like a bunch of random things. Helps with their vocabulary. A vet? Yep, a vet, because then they flip and they a see zoo stuff. Man? Uh, a zookeeper, a zoo and then you can have conversations about them. Books. Books. Uh huh. Look at all of these. This is your favorite page. Yeah. Why is it your favorite? Because dump truck, bulldozer, excavator, lifter, mixer truck. Why do you like this page? Tell the guys why you like this page. There's an onlooker and a crane. You know why I love it? Because cars! Because cars? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Joe just got home from work. What are you doing to him? Oh! Is he cute? He's cute. Joe walked into this giant mess, so I am sure. <laughs> so I'm sure that he is not quite thrilled. Do you want to put him in there? Do you want to see if he wants to sit there? We bought him um, this little bouncer thing. What do you even call these? Uh, kid activity centers? Because my mom has one at her house. And he seemed to like it there. Um, I think he's still a tad bit short for this one. Like his feet are on it. I just don't know if he's still like too little for it. But I found this one at a good price. And I thought it wasn't like super obnoxious. Like I like the colors in it. So I'll link it for you guys if you're looking for one of these. But he does seem to like to like look and play with the toys and he turns around. So, um, excuse me, that is Riley's adventure hat. <laughs> Please take it off. <laughs> He's like, what you doing? A rooster, a rooster. He's a happy baby. Look, he gave you a kiss. Bessitos. He gave you a kiss. Besitos for dad. You're nicer now that you're sleeping a little bit better. He slept for an hour and a half, his nap. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here. Here you go, buddy. No! All 
All right, guys, it is much later. We finished having dinner. It is almost seven o'clock. It's like 6.53. So we are starting the nighttime bedtime routines. Um, so I'm gonna take Sean. I'm gonna give him a bath. I'm still not giving him a bath every single day, but obviously today we were outside and stuff. So he's gonna get a bath and then Joe will bring up the big kids. The big kids will get a bath, but I'm letting them like hang out downstairs for a little while. So let's go get this guy bathed and then hopefully he can go to sleep soon. <laughs> So he is bathed and he's ready for bed, but like he's not tired yet because he took like a late last nap of the day. He takes like a little cat nap, but he hasn't been up long enough for him to go to sleep. So what I think we're gonna do is just like hang out here in my room on my bed where he is like the most content because downstairs is not gonna happen and in his room it's not gonna happen. So we'll hang out on my bed and maybe I can just, I don't know, read something, wait for the other kids to be done with their nighttime stuff. But all in all, I had a really good day today. I feel like obviously like going out today was a huge win like I told you guys and I'm just very proud of us for doing that and I'm so glad that I got to document it and share it with you guys. If there are more things like that um, that I can share in the future, then I sure will. Maybe it'll give you some ideas of like things that you can go do with your little ones. But yeah, I'm just trying to give you glimpses into what my life looks like these days. And right now, like this is it. Got an angry kid right now just yelling but you're not ready for bed yet good oh Joe just got in here are you smiling at dada huh why would I show them that Joe is making fun of me because okay I'll show them but only because we're friends and really I should not really show you at all but he's making fun of me because look at the bottom of my socks okay well let me first preface it by saying that I've told you guys before that um, like all the kids have holes in their in the knees of their pajamas because the floors downstairs they create holes like I don't know if it's like I, I really don't know what it is but all of our like all of the kids knees and their pajamas have holes because they're always like on their knees down there you know playing and stuff and then now all my socks are getting holes so this is legit <laughs> the bottom of my sock and he sees me and he like cracks up and he's like you look ridiculous like what the heck is wrong with you but like like legit like that's what half of my socks look like so i don't know that you have any recommendations for me i don't know if anyone else has experienced the same thing where like your floors in your house create holes because it is not very fun but yeah super random i don't even know why joseph decided <laughs> to share that with you guys but yes i'm trying to give you glimpses into my life and this was a very typical monday i mean we did groceries yesterday so i don't have to worry about groceries but i did a little bit of fruit prep which was good and i'll probably talk to you guys more in like another video where i can like sit and pay attention because right now my child is not gonna let me do that but i've been trying to like ask the lord to help me with i don't know if the right word is idleness or like help me to use my hands better in a way that's like not just wasting my life away scrolling on instagram um because i feel like i just waste too much of my life doing that so i've been praying about that asking that he helps me to find things to fill my time with that help the home, that help my family. But that's kind of something that I'm trying to work on because I do know that I need to be on my phone less. And I feel like today I did that because when I wasn't like doing something with the kids, I cleaned up the kitchen, I wiped down on my countertops, I did like some of that putting away the fruits so that they're ready for when the kids want to eat. Did just like a lot of like cleaning and stuff that you guys didn't really see here today. Anyway, that was my day. So thanks for hanging out with us. I have to go. My child is <laughs> cranky AF right now, but I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.